Okay, we are ready for greenification. So although this video feels very random, there is a purpose behind it. This is going to be a day in my life working from home in quarantine. Yes, this is the start of my work day. I mentioned in my previous video that I'm a musical theatre performer. I am also a performing arts teacher. And luckily, the classes that I teach have moved online, which I'm so thankful for because it gives me a sense of productivity and normalcy <laughs> in this time. And what we've decided to do to kind of keep everyone's spirits lifted is to have a theme each week and you can dress up in the theme. So last week was Disney. I was Elsa. This week, however, is Broadway inspired. So of course I'm dressing up as Elphaba. Also, if you can hear clicking or typing in the background of this video, that is my boyfriend who is also working from home, but has a proper office job and is a respectable human. Believe it or not, this is actually not my first time body painting. <laughs> Aside from the previous jobs I mentioned, I also work as a party princess, meaning I dress up as various different characters. Sometimes the characters involve body painting. I have had children run away from me screaming and crying, but that is a story for another time. I'm planning on doing a separate video where I answer questions about working as a party princess. So if that is something that you're interested in, if you have any questions, please leave them down below and let me know. I wonder what house Elphaba would be in. I could be projecting here, but I genuinely feel like she's a Ravenclaw. I don't know, comment down below. Let me know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I just watched a pizza video. Excuse <laughs> sorry, me, sorry. I'm trying to film a video. How dare you have fun. Sorry. Anyway, I am going to attempt to set this with some green eyeshadow. I don't know if it's going to make any difference to how patchy I am. My ring light has color settings and honestly, I could have just put it on green and the video would have been done. But we don't do things by halves here. Anyway, should I just hit all these? Oh, oh my gosh, this is, this is a bad idea. Hang on, I'll put it back to normal, I'm so sorry. This always happens. Of course, once I have covered my nose in green paint, then, then it decides it wants to itch. Help. <laughs> While we let that eyelash glue dry, I need to do something about my lips. Unfortunately, I don't have any colored lipstick that's actually going to work for this, so I'm gonna use face paint. This is not something I recommend trying at home. Face paint does not taste good. It does not make a good lipstick at all, obviously, because it is not long lasting. The second you get it wet, it looks like trash. There is many, many reasons why you should not do this, but watch me do it anyway. And this, this is why you do as I say and not as I do. It is now time for the impossible task of painting my hands. Quick fun fact about me, nothing bothers me more than when people body paint but they don't do their hands, so then this is literally what it looks like. Don't be those people. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm right handed? And this is not my right hand. While my hands dry, I may just take a little second to kind of explain my job a little bit more, seeing as this video was meant to be more so about what my life is like working from home during a global pandemic and less so about me being a green hot mess. <laughs> so today is a Wednesday and prior to COVID-19, 
Wednesdays were the days that I went and I taught a full day drama program for adults with disabilities. So it used to be a six hour program. Now that we've moved it online, I think we've got it down to about three, three and a half hours. Honestly, it is one of the best jobs ever, if I do say so myself. And little does my boss know that I would do this for free. <laughs> she doesn't have to pay me, but I do. I do get paid to do all of the things that you're about to go see me do. So keep that in mind. Let's go do some dancing. And I'm sure you would have thought that it was going to be Wicked themed, but no. <laughs> one of my students requested that we did Legally Blonde. So today's dance class is going to be the one where Alphaba gets into Harvard Law. What, like it's hard? We should admit her for reasons of but multiculturalism, multiculturalism exactly. gentlemen. Can I just quickly say, my neighbors are on their balcony right now and they can see into my apartment and I think they think I'm insane. <laughs> Hi. So, now I have finished my Wildcats class, but I am not done just yet. I have one more private vocal class that I'm teaching today and I have about an hour to degreenify myself before that class, so. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we have showered. Now you can see what I mean about the fact that it is nearly impossible to get body paint out of your ears. And I don't know how much time we've got until my next class, but we need to once again, be somewhat quick about this whole process. Fun fact that I learnt from, I think it was called the Fly Girl series, it was when Lindsay Mendez played Elphaba and they did a little YouTube series on her and it was great. I would recommend watching it. I probably have the wrong name, so good luck finding it. But she said that it's a little known fact amongst Elphabas that is passed down from Elphaba to Elphaba that you need to invest in green sheets when you get into the show because of this very reason. <laughs> I am 99.9% .9 sure that there would still be green paint in my ear. Every time I have body painted, <laughs> three weeks later, someone has asked me, what is that in your ear? One thing that I am incredibly grateful for during this quarantine is low res webcams. Nothing covers up your flaws more than a low quality image. Sorry to all of you on YouTube who are currently witnessing my flaws in HD. So the last class I have to teach today is a one-on-one -on -one voice lesson. I've been teaching a few of these since the quarantine started and I've been really enjoying it, although it is quite challenging because some of the students I work with, as I mentioned before, I work with adults with disabilities and some of them aren't as strong in their speech. So it has been a bit tricky to teach proper vocal technique, but one thing I have started doing is incorporating a little bit of sign into the songs that I've been teaching the students, which I think is really cool. But it is so incredibly rewarding and prior to working with people with disabilities, I had a very misinformed misconception that working with people with disabilities, you're essentially a glorified babysitter, but it's very much not the case. The guys that I work with are so incredibly switched on and so hard working and I've worked with them for three years now and I take so much pride in the growth that I've seen in these guys. It was something that I didn't expect to ever be doing but it's something that I'm so glad that I am doing and that's that's my little soapbox spiel. And now it is 2.45 and I've officially knocked off work. That was a day in my life working from home during a global pandemic. 
Hopefully it was somewhat interesting. If not, I'm sure you didn't make it this far into the video anyway. So if you did make it all the way to the end, please give this video a thumbs up. It is a massive help to me. I am also wanting to start making more theatery content. So if this is your jam, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around. Anyway, that is my shameless self-promotion done. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Be a kind human. Goodbye.